we're asked to solve the given equations using like bases. This indicates if we can write both sides of the equation with the same base, then we can set the exponents equal to each other and then solve for x. For the first example, we have 1 fifth raised to the power of x plus 4 equals 5 raised to the power of 4x plus 10. Using the negative exponent property, a to the power of negative 1 equals 1 divided by a, we can write 1 fifth as 5 to the power of negative 1. This indicates we can write the left side as 5 to the power of negative 1 raised to the power of x plus 4 is equal to 5 to the power of 4x plus 10. Another way to remember the negative exponent property is to think of 1 fifth as 1 divided by 5 to the first, and whenever a term moves across a fraction bar, the sign of the exponent changes, which gives us 5 to the power of negative 1. And now on the left, we have powers raised to powers, which indicates we can multiply the exponents. We can write the left side now as 5 to the power of negative 1 times the quantity x plus 4 equals 5 to the power of 4x plus 10. Notice now, we have both sides of the equation written with base 5, and because the terms are equal, the exponents must be equal, which means negative 1 times the quantity x plus 4 must equal 4x plus 10. And now we solve the linear equation for x. For the next step, we clear the parentheses on the left side by distributing negative 1, which gives us negative x minus 4 equals 4x plus 10. And now let's get the x terms on the same side. Let's go ahead and add x to both sides. Notice now the x terms are on the right side. Let's also go ahead and subtract 10 on both sides. Simplifying, negative 4 minus 10 is negative 14 equals on the right side, 4x plus x is 5x, and of course, 10 minus 10 is zero. And now to solve for x, for the last step, we divide both sides by five. Simplifying, we have our solution, x equals negative 14 fifths. And now let's take a look at the second example. We have 1 16th raised to the power of 2x minus three equals four raised to the power of 2x minus two. We can write both sides of the equation with base two or base four, because the right side already has base four. Let's write the left side with a base of four. Let's first write 1 16th as one over four squared, since four squared equals 16. This gives us one over four squared, all raised to the power of two x minus three, equals four raised to the power of two x minus two. Using our negative exponent properties, we can write one divided by four squared as four to the power of negative two. This gives us four to the power of negative two, raised to the power of two x minus three, equals four raised to the power of two x minus two. And again, an easy way to remember the negative exponent property is that if we move four to the power of positive two up to the numerator, the sign of the exponent changes to negative two. And now on the left, we have powers raised to powers, and therefore we can multiply the exponents. This gives us four to the power of negative two times the quantity two x minus three equals four raised to the power of two x minus two. Once again, notice now the bases are the same and the expressions are equal, which indicates the exponents must be equal, and therefore negative two times the quantity two x minus three is equal to two x minus two. Clearing the parentheses on the left side, we distribute negative two, which gives us negative four x plus six equals two x minus two. Again, let's get the x terms on the same side. Let's go ahead and add four x to both sides. Let's also add two to both sides to get the constant terms on the left. Simplifying, we have eight is equal to six x. Solve for x, we now divide both sides by six. Simplifying, we have x equals eight six. Eight and six share a common factor of two. Eight six simplifies to four thirds. Our final solution is x equals four thirds. I hope you found this helpful.